Our effort in molecular engineering began with the creation of the Institute for Molecular Engineering. We were going to create a program that was built on the unifying theme of design at molecular scale and up. Because of its success, because of the university's desire to elevate this program to a different level, we've now created the Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering. This will enable us to dramatically expand the faculty and give our students at all levels a whole collection of new opportunities in new directions. Building an engineering program from scratch enables one to do things exactly the way one wants from the beginning, unconstrained by the boundaries of traditional engineering schools. Pritzker Molecular Engineering is the only program in the country with this emphasis on using molecular level building blocks and new materials to create new technologies that are important for many societal problems in information technology, healthcare, and many others. The Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering has taken a leading role in educating the next generation of molecular engineers by being one of the first degree programs in the country in molecular engineering. We're bringing together students and researchers from various disciplines. It has to be an interdisciplinary, team-based approach to solve problems that are important for the world. One of the very powerful aspects of the Prisker School of Molecular Engineering is a new way to train students based around thematic areas, such as water, immunology, fundamentals of materials, and very new areas such as quantum engineering. This type of style enables you to bring together physics, chemistry, computational techniques, electrical engineering, biology, and material science all together. And it's often at the interfaces between disciplines where new discoveries take place in both science and engineering. We're working with world-class researchers, those who are based at Pritzker Molecular Engineering, but also based at the University of Chicago more broadly and at Argonne National Laboratory. We bring students from various universities to serve as visiting researchers in our labs. We also have visiting scholars coming to share their expertise and their perspectives. Using the facilities at national laboratories offer unique advantages for our students and collaborators around the world, whether it be for immunology or whether it be for quantum engineering. For example, at Argonne National Laboratory, there are a number of very unique opportunities, such as being able to calculate the properties of materials using their supercomputing, using the synchrotron to look at the structure of individual molecules. One of the nice things in doing that is we give our students some opportunities to do their work both in national labs and academic environments, mixing these types of experiences to make them much more powerful candidates as they move the science and technology into the real world. The Molecular Engineering Program at the University of Chicago has a real opportunity to truly change the world and turn discovery into innovation into practice and begin to address problems that ultimately will have impact. Our faculty and students both realize that in order to impact the world, they have to first impact the local community. And so making sure that the information, the expertise, the discoveries that take place within Pritzker Molecular Engineering are shared with the local community. So we've invited high school students from Chicago Public Schools to work in our labs, but also to be trained in how to best prepare for STEM college fields. The Pritzker Foundation has been committed to the University of Chicago's idea for molecular engineering since its very inception. The gift from the Pritzker Foundation enables the University of Chicago to build on its tradition of academic rigor and excellence and expand our reach and capacity to deliver this unique engineering education. The future of the Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering will be extremely important for the university, extremely important for the city of Chicago, and be a stimulus for many students to participate in science and engineering.